Hello everyone, welcome to our Scratch Junior channel. I am Ben. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create different blinking effects using Hide Block, Show Block, Wait Block, and Message Block. As suggested before, please use a pen and a piece of paper to sketch the story first before creating the project. Now, let's add a new project and create a story. Always remember our four steps for the project. Step 1. Where does our story take place? Let's say our story takes place at the lake during the night. In order to add lake as the background for our stage, we click the landscape image on top of the interface screen. Then, we select lake as the background for our stage. There you go. Step 2. Who are the characters in our story? Our story is going to show three stars that will blink in different styles. We will add three stars as characters. For the third star, we want this star to blink with different colors. We will add an extra star and we will change the color of this extra star to red. There will be altogether four stars. Click the add button on the left side of the interface screen. Then, we select star as the character. There you go. Repeat the process for four times. For the fourth star, click the paint editor icon on the top bar. The paint editor will be bought up, and you can click the fill icon on the right bar, and choose red on the bottom color bar. The fourth star will be colored in red. We will leave the default cat character as the audience of our starry night. Step 3. Where are the starting positions for our characters? Once we have the background, characters, and starting positions of the characters, we can create our story. In our story, there are three stars in the sky. We want the first two stars to be blinked differently, and the third star to blink with red color. Click the first star character. On the bottom section of the interface screen, you can add the process for the star. Let's add start activities block first. Then, you want the star to blink by using hide block and show block. Add the hide block, wait block, and show block. Set the wait block to 1, which represents a tenth of a second. Add repeat forever block as the end block. The first star will keep disappearing, and appearing within a tenth of a second. It will create a blinking effect for the star. Click the second star character. We will add the same process as the first star character. In this case, we want the second star to appear first, and then disappear. So that, the first and second stars will blink alternately. Click the third star character. We will add two processes, that will control the appearance of the third star. For the first process, add start on message block to receive red message. For the second process, add start on message block to receive green message. Upon receiving the red message, we want the third star to disappear, by adding hide block. Upon receiving the green message, we want the third star to appear, by adding show block. We will add wait block in both processes. Set the time to 1, which represents a tenth of a second. At the end of the first process, add send message block to send a green message. At the end of the second process, add send message block to send a red message. And, we will add the repeat forever block as the end block. As a result, once there is a red message coming in, the third star will disappear for a tenth of a second upon receiving the red message. Then, it will send a green message, which will trigger the second process. The third star will appear for a tenth of a second upon receiving the green message. The third star will appear, and disappear continuously. Click the fourth star character. We will copy the two processes of the third star, by dragging the two processes of the third star to the fourth star. We want the fourth star to appear upon receiving the green message, and to disappear upon receiving the red message. So that, the third and fourth star will appear alternately. This will create a blinking effect in different colors for the third star. Finally, click the cat character. On the bottom section of the interface screen, you can add the process for the cat. Let's add start block, send message block, 
and end block. We will send a red message on the application start. Let's test our script. Excellent. The final step is to name our project. Click the yellow button on the top right corner of the interface screen. Let's change the name to Starry Night. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel. See you again soon.